background. My name is Julian Johansson Brown. I work with Halcra. I'm an associate director in the Maritime Business Group. And my job involves um, project work and business development in the container sector. So um, traditionally, in a normal day for me, I'm talking to international shipping firms and operators around the world, um, either identifying new sites or developing existing sites for port development. So every ship that's on the high seas is either coming from somewhere or going somewhere. And what we do is help those um, either countries or operators, developers, and quite often investment banks looking to invest billions of dollars and pounds in economies looking for a return on their investment on, on the best location for those or the optimization to make them most efficient. Um, well, actually, uh, going back historically, it wasn't a career I thought about, um, and I almost studied it as a backup career. Um, I wanted to fly. I wanted to be a pilot. That's all I ever wanted to do. When I was in the Air Cadets, I had my glider pilot's license when I was 16, and I had my private pilot's license before I had my driving license, so my dad had to drive me to the airport. And then I passed my flying test, came back then, he had to drive me home, but I couldn't drive a car myself. Um, that's all I ever really wanted to do. Uh, but unfortunately, I was studying, um, probably with, they, they suggested with bad light, or whether or not that's true or not. But my eyesight wasn't up to scratch, and at the time, there were so many people wanted to go as being pilots, they could pick and choose only the people who fitted every single thing, you know, the highest tick in the box. So even though I had my pilot's license, I still didn't get selected. And it was devastating, and I really turned my back on it for quite a while. And, but now, you know, I still can't help running out and seeing what's flying over, overhead. Um, would I have had uh, any more interesting uh, career? I'm not sure if I would have done. Uh, I work with amazing people. Uh, I'm a, a, an amazing uh, girl at, at work, and, uh, and I married her, and we have a wonderful family. So my life, I've had a pretty, not charmed life, but I'm very fortunate in my life. So I don't have any regrets not doing it, but I can't help say that uh, yeah, when something goes overhead, I still have to run out and have a look. I was the head boy at our local school, and I've always enjoyed leadership opportunities. And I suppose that's one of the sort of characteristics of being where I am in business development and sort of being the front man of many of the projects that we do in Halgro. Um, I always like to be uh, the leader, not in an arrogant manner in that nobody else can do it, but I really enjoy uh, developing high-performing teams and seeing that team develop and I get a, a great buzz out of the leadership of that. Um, so I was pretty studious, but I think I probably had a fairly healthy balance as well of out-of-school activities as well as academic, and that probably translated through to my university as well. I wasn't the highest achiever, and um, I don't think that in my career path the highest achiever um, academic qualifications are necessary. It's a lot more about the logistics, it's about having a vision of what's achievable and uh, it's inspiring people to, um, to be able to develop something which is going to have an impact on, on the world really, on the world economy. If every one of those ships that we see sailing around the world has got nowhere to go and nowhere to come from, international trade will just stop. And everything from the watch you wear on your wrist to the TV you watch, that's all come from somewhere and is going somewhere and we help facilitate that. Where I would like to be in 10 years is probably to see that there's someone like me sat here talking to you as we are this morning, um, having had the same enjoyment and passion for the industry that I've had. Um, but I'd like to see myself perhaps in a more senior role so that I can facilitate that and encourage people like me to come on the career path I've got. So perhaps in a, in a more senior management position.